はじめまして私の名前は Clark です。Good day everyone! My name is Clark from Hiraya Tours, your tour guide for today. How was your trip? Good? Alright, kindly follow me on our way to the bus. Is everybody settled? Alright, we're going to be pulling up to your hotel in just a few minutes. I kindly ask all of you to remain in your seats until we come to a complete stop. Once we arrive at the hotel, please double check to make sure your bags has been taken off the bus. Just a few reminders for tomorrow's day tour, I will be meeting you at 8.40 in the morning. Please have your breakfast. Tomorrow, based on the weather, it's going to be a sunny day, so make sure you have your sunscreen, your shades, and your hat. In behalf of Hiraya Tours, I'm looking forward to see you and enjoy your stay here in Manila. Arigato gozaimasu! Arigato gozaimasu! Good morning! And as we say it in our language, magandang umaga. It's your Superman Tour Guide. Remember my name? My name is Clark. On behalf of Hiraya Tours, we will fly you to the urban district and historic walled city here in Metropolitan Manila, the Intramuros. On behalf of our coach captain, Mr. Daniel Padilla. Say maganda umaga to Mr. Daniel. Now, speaking of, first of all, head count. 1, 2, 3, 10. Excellent. Now, we at Hiraya Tours, your safety is our utmost priority. I know you guys are all excited, but first, I want you all to remember PLM. P stands for precautionary measures. Always wear your protective gear such as your face shield and your face mask. Strictly follow social distancing and have your alcohol by your side. And remember, do not leave your things unattended like your wallets, your bags, and your important gadgets. For the next letter, letter L, littering is bad. Kindly be responsible for our trash and practice CLEGO, clean as you go, that is right. And for the last letter and the very important letter to remember is the letter M. Make the most out of your time. And speaking of time, I think we should have the same time. In my time, it is 8.45 in the morning. Done? Okay. Another time-friendly reminder is to know my signal. If I wave this flag up, it means we have 20 minutes to roam around. If I whistle once, It means that we only have five minutes left. But if I whistle twice, it means that we are on to our next spot. Now, by any chance that you are not feeling well, I have here an emergency. So kindly, please raise that concern immediately. Are there any questions? Okay. Did we have a good sleep? Okay, I bet you the because it's gonna be a thrilling trip from the past here at Intramuros. And based on our date or itinerary, as we enter the Intramuros, we'll start off by visiting the premier church in the Philippines, which is the Manila Cathedral. From the church, we'll then go to Casa Manila, which is a home turned museum. And by 11.30 a.m. or so, we'll go to our last spot, which is a taste of Filipino Spanish cuisines inspired by the colonial times at the Ilustrado Restaurant. It's gonna be a trip filled with oozing culture, and speaking of it, I think we have just landed at our first destination. Welcome to Manila Cathedral! Located here at Plaza Roma Intramuros, Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, is or commonly known as Manila Cathedral, is considered as the Roman Catholic Church in the Philippines. As you can see, the main facade and the architecture as a whole was inspired by the Roman style with its round arches and a play of geometrical designs. The rose glass window was divided into 12 rays that symbolizes the 12 apostles. Beneath that is the main portal or the front door which is designed by an Italian sculptor named Alessandro Monteleone and Francisco Nagmi. Now who could tell me what kind of metal they use? Clue, it is used, commonly used in a third place medal. That is right, it's bronze. Now what is the implication of this 8 bronze panel at the door? To tell you the truth, where we are standing now is actually the 8th cathedral to have been built on this site. The first church was made by the materials of nipa, wood, and bamboo, all of which are the reasons why it was not an exemption when Manila was fired in 1593. 
what came out of those eight historical episodes was the Manila Cathedral we see today. It was designed by Fernando Ocampo, inspired by the last construction but with the Romanist twist that blends with Renaissance and modern styles. The colors of the inside was in warm tones such as cream and reset orange, surrounded with of course shining marble surfaces. And as we like to put meaning to the ceiling, the higher the ceiling, the faster our prayers will be sent above. With Pope John Paul II elevating Manila Cathedral to a minor basilica in 1981, the church remained in its former glory. This cathedral is a symbol of Philippine resilience in the face of adversity. And there is a beauty to be found in coming together of different perspectives and experiences. True enough, Manila Cathedral is a symbol of Filipino survival and adaptation. Do you have any questions? Alright, I will now give you my permission. You have 20 minutes to roam around the church and to also send your prayers. And just like anyone visiting a church, I kindly ask all of you to please observe silence. Now, I cannot whistle to give you my signal to respect the church, but if you see me waving this flag up in this right exact spot, it means that we are on to our next destination. Is that clear? Okay. In Japan, I know you guys are really giving importance to your ancestral homes, and same here in Intramuros. Welcome to the humbling home of the upper citizens during colonial times. Welcome to Casa Manila. This three-story home was constructed by Imelda Marcos in the 1980s, inspired by the Spanish colonial architecture. So, shall we go in? Alright. The main gate that we're entering now is the Puerta Principal which is made of heavy wood. Now this leads us to the Saguan or the corridors where carawajes entered and dropped off their passengers which leads them to the Entrosuelo. Right over here is the Tasho where it is a source of light during the day and you can feel the cold breeze during the night. Also they have the Cabalariza where the house owner's carriages were parked. Remind you guys that carriages were not just a transportation back then but a uh, status symbol they believe that the bigger the carriages and the more horses needed to pull it the higher your status symbol just a reminder once we go inside pictures are not allowed and please stay on the red carpet to avoid the hardwood floors being scratched the second floor contains the biblioteca and the oficina the office and the library it also has some dormitories usually occupied by the elderly grandparents for them not to sweat going up just to rest Am I correct? Moving up to the third floor, you can see that it is much bigger and grander. This room is called the Antesala. It is a spacious where uh, the family could relax, eat meriendas, snacks, and play a game such as mahjong. It is filled with such rich furniture. You can see some sofas, some 19th century uh, reclining chairs, marble top tables, a grandfather's clock, and a grand piano. Right over there is the oratorio or the prayer room used for the family's Catholic devotion, of course, influenced by the Spanish colonizers. Now, above each end of the dining table is the punca. It is a manually operated fan. It's used to keep the guests cool and shoo the flies away. Out of all the luxurious furniture in Casa Manila, the most notable are the letrina or the toilet. Apparently, in 19th century, you and your friend could do your business together at the same time. It really tightens the bond. What do you think? Alright, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask. Casa Manila truly is a place to relearn the lifestyle of the wealthy people during the colonial times. Big help to the administration of Intramuros, Casa Manila as to other establishment here are well preserved and maintain its glory. Are we all ready for our last trip? To keep the cultural ambience of this tour, we are going to launch a la Ilustrados. To keep the full experience, we are going to ride Calesa. Alright, hop in. Enjoy the view as we go to Ilustrado. Welcome to Ilustrado Restaurant. I know you can't wait, but if you happen to have any allergies, please raise it to me, okay? I've already reserved us a seat inside. So let's eat our hearts out. Let's go, come on. Did everybody have a full tummy? Oishi? I bet you do. Alright, let's do a head count. One, two, three, ten. Perfect. It's sad to say that it is the end of our tour. But remember, it is not the end of our journey. On behalf of Hiraya Tours, Coach Captain Danielle, and me, your Superman Tour Guide Clark, it's a pleasure to be spending our time with you. Sit back and relax as we approach you all to the hotel. 
Arigatou gozaimasu. Maraming salamat po.